From airports to some grocery stores and hair salons, they are becoming a regular part of health and safety checks in the COVID-19 era. Infrared thermometers, better known as temperature guns, are being used to scan people for fevers. But there is some debate about their effectiveness, so we put some to the test. Hello. Hello. Sure. Businesses aren't required to do this, but even though the government hasn't made it mandatory, many are choosing to take the extra step. We think it's important, so it's just a precaution for us and just also for clients that might not be aware that they might have a fever. In close quarters with their clients, beauty salons have already made countless changes to their operations to protect the public. And this is just one extra tool in their toolkit. We do them with staff every day at the beginning of their shifts. But doctors have mixed opinions on the effectiveness of the devices, and they aren't recommended by Toronto Public Health as a screening measure. Asking those symptoms are going to be more beneficial than actually checking someone's temperature. Other doctors say it's better than nothing. It is one tool uh, that can be used. And because it's easy, because it's convenient, it can be done very quickly. Uh, it, it, is, it does have those benefits and advantages. So it's, it's easier to do than, say, frequent testing, for example. It, it can pick up some cases, even if it picks up 40% or 25%. It's better than 0%, right? So uh, it is a tool, but you don't want to put all your faith in it. And no doubt the devices are in high demand. Our City News team ventured out to three local pharmacies and they were completely sold out. So we bought some online to put them to the test. So temperature guns are meant to look for a fever, which is defined as an internal body temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or more. But what the gun actually does is scan the outer surface of your body. So essentially your skin's temperature, which can be affected by a number of factors. For instance, the time of day, after exercise, or after spending time under the hot sun. I took my temperature while in the shade, and then after sitting in the sun for just five minutes. Whoa, this is saying I'm 39.6 now, which is above uh, fever. This one as well, 39.3, which is above a fever. That's from sitting in the sun for five minutes. The thermometer was the only device that stayed consistent at 36 degrees, and some have experienced the problem firsthand. My AC doesn't work in my house. My AC doesn't also didn't work in my car as well. So I was hot, running errands, got to the nail salon for my appointment, and they uh, tested my temperature with the uh, temperature gun at the door. Um, my temperature was too hot. They said, all right, how about you go wash your hands with cold water, um, and then we'll check you again. So I washed my hands with the cold water, and then my temperature came right down. The government has mandated airlines to conduct temperature checks for travelers in Canada. We checked in with two of the country's largest airlines. Air Canada tells us there have been very few cases of passengers presenting an elevated temperature and those who have would be rebooked at no cost. WestJet says it is also rare for a guest to be unable to board and if they were, they would be provided rebooking options. For City News, I'm Tina Yazdani.